They make. You see right here. They're the worst team in CFL playoff history, but it doesn't matter anymore. The Riders made it, and now comes the chance to redeem themselves in everyone's eyes, including their own. Well, right now, if we can get to get past Hamilton, you know, it will make our season a little bit better, considering what happened this year. You know, as far as everything that's going on around here, it's been like a circus around here. You know, here we got a chance to make it better. Ron Smeltzer expects he'll be fired when this season is over, which is why a win this weekend would mean so much. It would put his wayward team back on track and help erase a year of turbulence and torment. Well, I think it will, you know, and I think that uh, I really feel confident that uh, this team can do that. Uh, I think that uh, they've got a breath of uh, life again, uh, of a new attitude, a new feeling about hey, uh, and a new sense of worth, you know, so I, I think that they can do that. For Sean Daniels, who played his heart out in Hamilton, it's a chance to succeed after weeks of failure. Oh, definitely. I mean, a lot of people say we shouldn't even be in the position we are, but I look at it, A, if we have the opportunity, we should take advantage of it. The season's made up of really three parts, the first half, the second half, and the playoffs, and uh, this is the playoffs, and it's a whole new season as far as we're all concerned. Dexter Manley's stats read two injuries and one fumble recovery. He isn't talking about it, but this week is a second chance to show there's still some shimmer on his fast-fading star. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. That's what he was here for—to play, to do everything, to uh, to prove to everyone he can still play, he can do it at 34 years old. And were Ottawa's man-child talking at all, he'd likely have only one thing to say: Is a great cup time? All the way to the Grey Cup. Dexter talking again and talking Grey Cup. Yes, only in Riderland do dreams come true. Rob Sinclair, TSN, in Ottawa.